Llama Life seriously is one of my favorite productivity tools. Let's talk about why. The reason that I decided to make this video is because Llama Life is a super cool productivity tool that I use every day and there aren't any videos about it on YouTube. In fact, the only thing you can find is something I did in a live stream back a couple months ago about Llama Life. And maybe I'm a super fan, but Llama Life has been the coolest productivity tool that I've used and I just frankly want other people to know about it. It works so well for me because it makes you actually estimate how long your tasks are going to take. You can't put a task on the to-do list without estimating how long it's going to take you. And then in addition to that, it really helps me overcome the time blindness that is really common with ADHD, where I'll just get lost in a task and have no idea how much time has passed. What Llama Life does is it keeps me from doing that. So I thought I would just show it off because I think it's a really cool tool. If they ever release an affiliate program, I will become their biggest evangelist if I'm not already. So all Llama Life is, it has become something that is essential to my daily tasks. You just go to llamalife.co and if you open the front page, it'll say open llama. What Open Llama is going to do is it is going to open a thing on the side here with all of your tasks. So by default, you will have no tasks on your to-do list. If you want to add tasks, the first way you can do it is just hit add tasks. I have it set up to default to all my tasks be 30 minutes, but Let's say that I want to record podcasts and I know it takes me in general about 25 minutes to record the podcast. I would add that. What is so awesome about Llama Life is that every single task is going to have a time associated with it and it will show you at the bottom what the end time of the day is going to be in whatever your local time is. The thing for me is that I love to-do lists, but I tend to make a lot of them and then I get really overwhelmed with how many things are on them. And I'm also pretty bad at estimating how much energy I have for something in a day and how much time things are gonna take me. So what Llama Life does is it makes me be realistic about how much I can actually accomplish in a day. It's not meant for your someday maybe tasks, which is like, things that I'll have living in Todoist lists and on my Notion boards. No, Llama Life is meant as an active productivity tool to manage your time for that day only. So it's only meant for what you want to accomplish that day. So my daily ritual with Llama Life is that I sit down at my computer and I open actually, of all things, my paper planner. And my paper planner is, my daily planner is a Jim Boon Days planner, which I have talked about before. And I will just make my to-do list for the day. So when I set out my to-do list for the day, I'll put estimates of time tasks on there. Then I will sit down and transfer it into Llama Life. What Llama Life lets you do is it lets you, instead of having to build the to-do list every single day, it has integrations with a couple things. So if you use Todoist for your general to-do lists, then you can load in whatever is on your today list from Todoist. But I actually have Llama List list set up for myself. So I have a weekday list, which if I load it in, will automatically go into my main window which because I'm filming this in the afternoon, if I did all of the things on my uh, daily to-do list, then I wouldn't be done till 6.06 6 p.m. But this has me actually track some of the things that I might forget about otherwise, like taking my medication, for example, or just making sure that I open my emails and I, res I respond to them. What Llama Life is great for is it gives me a little bit of boost and credit for doing some of the more drudgery tasks that I don't like to do. So things like just responding to emails, but one of the most important things on my list is make list. So if you wanna work on something, you can only work on one thing at a time in Llama Life. And I think that's what's so important about it is I like to convince myself that I can do multitask, but I can't really multitask. And what Llama Life says is, no, you can't. So 
I start making my list and then I go through and I uh, will add anything. The coolest part of this, of course, is selecting your emoji. So let's say that I know today I need to take a bath. One of those things you might not normally put on your to-do list, but sometimes you just need to make sure that you make time for those things. So I say that taking a bath is gonna take me 30 minutes. I get to pick my emoji. Let's say I wanna take my bath right now. Well, I can hit top, it'll go to the top, and then that's the thing I'm actively engaged in. Now, let's say I'm done with my bath. I hit complete and I get confetti on the screen. For me, the little boost of serotonin that you get for checking things off the to-do list, like taking my meds, that is really great for me. The other really motivating part, the little boost of serotonin that I get is that because I have the end time here on the bottom, it makes me be really realistic about whether or not it's going to have to happen. It's meant to just keep me on task for that day. So if I start adding tasks and thinking that I could get everything done that day, and then suddenly it says, um, your end time is at 10 p.m. and you're gonna have to stay up till 10, which is not a thing I do, then I'm going to have to figure out what tasks get pushed over to the next day and delete them. And for me, this is very good. I do a lot of public speaking and trainings for work. And now that everything's virtual, I actually put Llama Life up on a screen that I am not sharing so that I can see it count down. So that means I'll see how much time I have left on the screen. So if, for example, let's say I'm gonna be talking about 401k questions, so the question segment. So I'll put the run of show in here for a meeting and I'll see it count down on the side. And that helps me keep on time for every segment. The last week I had a four and a half hour training where I needed to make sure that everybody broke for lunch on time and I wanted to make sure that each topic got enough time to be covered in the four and a half hours that I was training on. So I put the entire run of show into Llama Life and had it on the screen. This also means that if, you know, for example, I'm running over in a meeting and it starts flashing at me and going off, I can just hit add five minutes. So you can add up five minutes or you can subtract five minutes. And when the time's up, there you have a couple different options of the ways that it alerts you. You can set it to have time um, flat, like the time flashes. You can have a visual timer. Um, you can also have it turn completely red on the screen if you want. Or you can also have it make a noise. So in the settings, it lets you really pick what is gonna work for you. Some people want that continuous nag because they won't notice it unless it's blaring. And then some people want like a, a nag timer, which is what I have, where it'll just start kind of beeping at me insistently. There's also the visual one, um, and you can turn the audio sound on or off depending on whether or not that's something that works for you. If you're someone who likes even more visual styles, you can actually set your timer to be a pie timer. So if it's a pie timer, it'll show it based on the percentage of the hour. It only works for tasks up to an hour. The thing that I like to do is realize that stuff needs to be broken out into chunks. So for example, I tend to get really overwhelmed where I'll be like, oh my God, it's gonna take me like, like 10 hours to edit this thing that I need to do, or I have so much studying to do. So. I study in 50 minute Pomodoros with 10 minute breaks because I found that a really effective study method. So I actually have a uh, Pomodoros, which I also call talks, um, where I will load those in and it already has the breaks built in there. And what's nice about that is it makes it a lot easier for my brain to recognize we don't have to get it all done today. Sure, I might not get 10 hours of editing done today, but if I make, two two-hour tasks for editing and I stay focused for those ta those tasks, I am now halfway done with a project that maybe I wouldn't have even started because I got overwhelmed. When I actually set up my um, studying, I will set up my study timer on one side of the screen and then I'll run a study with me on the other. That way I get the mirroring of, you know, just kind of body doubling with someone else that's studying. Um, even if they're kind of mythical over on the side of the screen, and I have the timer set up there. 
for me, it works really well because um, it helps keep me on task. It refocuses me because I see that time ticking down on the side. And if my mind starts wandering, if I start not wanting to do the task, I know that that timer is ticking down. So usually I'll be like, oh, you only have five more minutes. You can go look up that random thing that you were wondering about how long the gestation period of llamas is on Google after five minutes when I finish this task. That forces me because I've scheduled in the breaks to actually be realistic about how much work I can complete in a day. I've had to track my time for years for work. I worked billable hours at my old day job and I track my own work using Toggle, but Toggle is very much um, reactive as opposed to proactive. So Llama Life forces me to actually estimate how long a task is gonna take me. Whereas what Toggle does is it reports how long I spent on a task. It doesn't really allow me to see how I want to spend my time versus it just kind of reports back on how I spent my time. Llama Life is my proactive tool and it works so well for my brain. I mean, who doesn't love getting confetti every time they complete a task? It does have a little reports feature built in, but you are able to see a report of how you spent your time during that day and where that time was spent the thing is, is that when you start clearing off your tasks, it's only a report for what is ever is active on your tasks. So I think that's important to note. Other settings that are kind of interesting in here is that there is a smart time detection. So if you want to very quickly build tasks, when you type them in, you can say break 10 and then it will make that a 10 minute task. Of course, selecting the emojis is always the most important part for me. Um, I like to do kind of, you know, random animals, or if I'm a little frustrated at a task, then maybe I'll give it an emoji where I don't particularly like it. Like if I have to work with a client that I don't particularly love, I'll give them like a bat emoji or something. And it makes it a little easier for me to complete the task that I am working on, like invoicing or accounting or something I don't get a lot of joy from. The preset list of tasks that I have includes a lot of those things that I need to do every day and check in with every day, but it might not take me the full amount of time that's already preset in the list. So what's nice is I start to get time back if I do that. The other thing that's really helpful about Llama Life is that end time is going to keep clicking up. So if I haven't started my tasks yet, if I'm procrastinating and I haven't actually started using the timer for Llama Life yet, then I'm going to see that that t end time gets later and later and later. And for me, it's very motivating with time management to be able to actually see like, oh, if I start the task and I check it off, then I it will just be dealt with. I think the last thing that's really, really helpful for me is those to-do list activities that actually don't take that long, but you have a lot of existential burden about because you don't want to do it. Like those annoying life admin tasks. For example, I just switched to insurance and one of my tasks was that I needed to call the physical therapy office and tell them my new insurance information so that they could pre-authorize my visits with my new insurance. Uh, wonderful American specific problem to have, but you know, I knew it wasn't going to take that long, but ugh, what a boring, unfun task. What's nice about Llama Life is I know it's only going to take like 10 minutes, so I can put it in the list and it gives me that nice, you know, adrenaline boost of being able to check it off the list when I'm done. And I get some confetti on the screen when I finally called, and it gives me a realistic idea of of how much time those kind of tasks are sucking up in my life and helps reinforce the idea that a lot of times those things don't take me actually very long. And instead of having me just keep moving them over day to day because I don't wanna do them, Llama Life just makes me, I see them right there and I see that they're adding to the total amount of time that day. And so I'll just start them and check them off. It might not work for everyone's brain. For me, I find Llama Life to be really effective because I love to-do lists, but I make way too many of them. I get really overwhelmed. What's nice about Llama Life is it's integrated with the to-do list. So even though I'm making the to-do list on paper, they have not yet invented a fancy paper that will just start a timer going. And what Llama Life does is it just constantly gives me that feedback, watching, checking off. If I get really involved in a task, I'll just start adding a bunch of minutes to that task. 
but it helps really helps me forces me to break down my tasks into doable and manageable chunks in my head. It's also helpful for me for some of those other tasks that I might get distracted by. Like for example, one of the uh, tasks that I have in my daily list is that I usually make a second pot of coffee sometime during the morning and I use a French press. So I have to get up from my desk, go start the coffee, and then come back to my desk and remember to go press the coffee four minutes later. So I just have this coffee timer in there because it just makes it like perfectly easy for me to do that where I start the coffee timer and I see it ticking down and I get reminded when the timer goes off. My biggest feature request really for Llama Life would be for the addition of a native app for Android or iOS. And right now I really mostly only find myself using it when I'm sitting at a computer and I can have it up on one side of the screen. Even though I love to use timers for things like cleaning my house and uh, you know making dinner, I'm, I have enough time blindness that if I start a pot of pasta for eight minutes, if I don't set a timer for eight minutes, I will have no idea if 20 minutes have passed or if two minutes have passed. I really can't tell the passage of time. So I use tons of timers. So maybe someday they'll make an iOS app. I would be very happy, but I know that it is a very small uh, app run by just one person right now. So I'm sure it's not on their list of priorities and it works great on the web. It doesn't suck a bunch of battery life, even on my like tiny work MacBook Air that really struggles with a lot of tasks. I never had a problem with it sucking up a bunch of CPU. I really find it a great productivity hack because it just works. You should give it a try out, see if it works for you. I'd be really interested to know if this kind of to-do list works for your brain. Do you like timers? Tell me about what your secret productivity tool is. Is there anything in your life that you're using that you feel like other people don't talk about enough? Share them down below. And if you liked this video and you're interested in uh, more productivity and finance related things, you should subscribe. That way you'll get notified about our weekly live streams where I eat a donut and I talk about economics and we look at cat pictures. Thank you so much for watching this video and uh, hope that you try out Llama Life. And until next time, stay hydrated. Bye.